Oh, there we go, boys. Calicums 50. Yeah. Hey, dear. What's up? Okay. So Hypixel finally decided to show this beautiful looking star. It's so sick, right? Before I begin to start sharing my Caligam's 50 grinding experience, I would like to address something here. And I will say no. Like how I got Caligam's 50 was definitely not worth for me. I will explain it later, don't worry. Okay. It only started on year 2022. I was watching some random Minecraft video on YouTube. Then I ended up watching it till end. <clears throat> and as a nice guy, I kinda like that video. So if you guys think you are also nice like me, you can hit this like button too. As I said, I like that video. I mean, I really loved it. Like how a simple green looking game called Minecraft can be modded in such a way I could have even imagined. Like how minions that works 24 by 7 generating free resources you kill mobs for some reason. You can sort in reverse after completing certain tasks. It was a really great video experience, so I thought of trying it out myself. So on 7th March 2022, I launched Minecraft. Then you know what did I do? I, don't I typed subscribe to my channel.hypixel.net and boom, I log into Hypixel. And yeah, I did the same thing that everyone do at the beginning. Farm the some wheat, got trees, mine the ores, kill the some mobs, unlock the dormy mines, or uh, went to the end and uh, kill some black long looking tall. You know what time it is now? But after all of this, everything changed. One of my classmates who also played Hypixel even one year before me noticed me playing Hypixel Skyblock. We both talk about the game. Although I had less experience of the server, I will simply talk with him like I was a pro. Then time passed, couple of days passed, even a month passed away. And I was still playing the game, wearing some young dragon armor, running in the end, three tapping gelards with single one talisman in my inventory, which was, of course, the piggy bank. You know what I mean, like a nun. After hours later, I saw others, one tapping jailers, running with a speed of light. So I was a bit confused. I had no idea how would I even do that. Would I ever be at that level? But that didn't last long. I asked my one year experienced classmate, and he told me I will need some money with which I will get some clothes and those will help me do that. But in order to wear that cloth, I will need to unlock it first by doing dungeons. There was so much thing to process. But eventually, like he said, I started farming melons and I made about 13 million coins in one week and bought myself full superior dragon armor. Then yeah, of course. For a sure, hundred percentage, I went to do dungeons. From this point, I started doing dungeons. And guess what? I kept doing dungeons? No, no, no. I went to do mining. Huh? But why? Um, because I needed more money to buy even stronger clothes and play stronger floors. But you know, mining didn't go well. As you guys may never experience, how bad is Asian ping for overall game experience? And as I was saying, after getting flow 3 completion, I went to do mining and grinded all over to hot up the mountain 7, grinded 4 by 5 million material and gemstone power. I bought myself hypermax gauntlet and divan armor. And you know how much I was making? Around 6 million coins per hour which was only 1 million more coins as compared to my potato farm. And guess what? I quit. I left. I stopped playing Minecraft. I just ignored the ad Hypixel in my mind. But suddenly, after a whole 3 months, I again watched a YouTube video where they were playing Minecraft on their computer on the same server that I quit 
three months ago. And that video hit my head so hard. It made me realize I should not have left this server, but rather only minimize the Minecraft screen for some hours. Then I again open Minecraft. But this time I log on to likethevideo.hypixel.net and collected my actions for old mining gears. Then I bought back Super Dragon Armor and started doing floor 5. Eventually, dungeons started to spin all over my body. I was uh, playing uh, dungeons uh, doing uh, secrets on daytime, but uh, was uh, still playing dungeons in my dream at night. Yeah, I kept grinding floor 5 till Catacombs level 22. Then, randomly, a Giga Chad actually joined our party and carried us to floor 6. Then I bought Necromancer Lord armor and started playing tank. But the funny thing was, it didn't go well. Um, I was getting nuked on every boss fight and also keep getting kicked from the party. Then I had no choice but to either hyper max tank armor or switch class. Now tell me in the comment section what would you do at this point? Anyways, I switched my class to Berserker, but this time I grinded back my superior dragon armor from leeching dragons and killing zealots for money. Then I kept grinding floor 5 and 6 until I got myself Karagam's level 25 and got floor 7 completion. And guess what? Like uh, everyone does, I sold everything about uh, Necron's armor and uh, grinded more zealots. Then got Enderman Slayer level 3 and got myself Juju. And again uh, I started playing floor 6. Yeah, it was like 3 months later. I grinded about 1200 floor 6 and I got myself some giant swords and Karagam's level 32. Then I sold everything again and about Hyperion. And slowly I began to do floor 7 at Karagam's level 33. Eventually, I got myself Karagam's 40. Then I went to do Master Mode Floor 3. I again grinded Master Mode 3 up to 500 times and got myself Karagam's level 42. And like I said earlier, a Giga Chad Hatcher carried us in Floor 6, but this time a Giga Chad Maze carried us in Master Mode Floor 4. Then I got to play Master Mode Floor 5 uh, as a tank. Yeah. Master Mode Floor 5 was more profitable than even Master Mode Floor la la la. Master Mode Floor 5 was more profitable than Floor 7. So I kept doing Master Mode Floor 5 until I got Catacombs level 45. Then I went to do Master Mode Floor 6. And guess what? I desperately grinded Master Mode Floor 6 from Catacombs level 45 to Cata 50. Now, if you check my profile I have a single Master Mode 7 completion uh, with Catacombs 50 and at this point, I regret so much for being Catacombs 50. The reason is so simple, I cannot even join Master Mode 7 parties because unlike Floor 7, Master Mode Floor 7 needs so much stuffs. First of all, you need friends uh, who can give you some free carries. Second, you need a good ping and third, you need so much patience. And fourth, you need to complete 10 likes on this video. Never mind. And fourth, you need so much money. And among all of these things, I had none. Yes, I am Calicom Swifty with only 6 billion net worth, has around 500 millisecond ping, has no friends who can carry me for much more floor 7 experience, and I don't even have patience to wait for hours in Party Finder. Which is why I lowered my stuffs and make myself poor. So now I'm stuck with Catacombs 50, maybe forever. This is why Catacombs 50 was not worth for me. But if you guys are still watching until now, god damn, you are great. Anyways, bye. Need to move on to be what I want I'll keep dreaming on